We we're gonna watch Goodbyes, just like this Bob. part of but the video. But moving on to the we're gonna second watch this part. half of this video, we're gonna watch we're gonna this be looking part. at this VTuber named Cat Dragons, who made another call out thread, ill advised, just like the previous one, saying this: Please be aware of the art raffles that you sign up for. Engagement bait raffles are messed up. A thread. It's true. Okay, I will agree right off the bat. It Intentional is true. engagement bait in the VTubing scene is a big problem. Basically, a lot of people do stuff like, hey, uh, follow for follow. If you follow me back or retweet this. It is true, but this one specifically was towards art people. I'm an artist, so I get a lot of artists' posts and artist raffles on my Twitter too. And a lot of them are artist engagement bait. A lot of them don't return anything. Um and this is what this was about and about communication. Uh let me go right off the bat before uh, you get um, the opinion from Ref here, because he did not look into this at all. A lot of people on Twitter said this thing is about Cat Dragons complaining about not getting free art. That is not true. Cat Dragons has only been polite and respectful of the artist. Cat Dragons has not mentioned the artist's name in her thread. Cat Dragons has given the artist a lot of time and not pressured the artist. The artist had in total a time span. This was the total time span of five months. This entire thing Cat Dragons experienced was over five months and Cat Dragons had given the artist multiple outs that the artist never took. The artist never took those outs. Yes, it was free art. The issue here is not that it is about free art. The issue is that it is about the communication and that it is just engagement baiting. Also, the artist has made at least one or two raffles afterwards that they have not given rewards out. And even af like after Cat Dragons came forward, with this post, the artists called themselves out and more people ever since this thread have come out to say that even on commissions, they have not received their art piece from the artist. That is what is going on. The artist is in the end a scam. Obviously, it's not a scam for Cat Dragons because the Cat Dragons has put no money into it. She won a raffle. That one isn't a scam. But other people got scammed out of this. And thanks to Cat Dragons, people have come forward. And yes, the artist had stated on their account, had made tweets that they have felt mentally low and such. But... Catrings respected that and said, if you are not feeling well, she gave the artist an out and the artist didn't take it and kept saying, no, I will do it, don't worry. The artist blocked Catrings at one point and then unblocked Catrings sometime later for some reason. It is a very, very, very bizarre situation. Rosie Belmou actually had Cat Dragons in her chat and Rosie Belmou addressed this entire situation. I was in Rosie's chat at the time too and I was looking at all the evidence presented. I don't think Rosie Belmou has the video out yet. I'm not entirely sure. Let's let's check actually. I don't I don't think uh, she has the video out yet. But she addressed this entire thing live. Yeah, it's not out yet. It's not out yet. But she addressed this entire thing live with cat dragons there, with receipts, with screenshots of everything that happened. And all of these screenshots cat dragons had on the Twitter and in the thread. Not the entire thread, but it is on the Twitter and in the thread. Cat dragons also said she's continuing this topic on her Twitter account itself for more. I'm gonna show you something that Rose. Lucy also pointed out right away. I'm gonna show you something. Here, 1.5 million views by now. The next one, 125k. Look at this. Look at this. People only saw the first one and didn't read it. This was a threat. This was a threat. People didn't even read it. People just... People are just going with their fucking art. <laughs> Persons are crying for free art. No, no, they are not. And that is what Ref is doing here too. I'll follow you back or put you in a, a competition this is what Ref or is contest. Doing too. And basically they're just doing it to bait people into following them or supporting their, their tweets and what have you. But in this case, we're dealing with a situation. Okay, people read headlines, not articles. That is true. 
that is true, but this is a fucking ref L. This disappoints me so much in ref's content. In the TLDR. Because he reports news, he reports drama and all of that shit, but to have such a base reporting on shit, it is so disappointing. Here is that there was an artist who made a raffle requiring you to follow them and other stuff. And certain winners would be selected and get it's not a free artwork. It's And this it's a low report won the raffle, so they were gonna get free artwork. However, yeah. shortly after that time period, this artist would go through a bout of mental health issues, and they would not only say, "I can't do this free raffle," they would also say, "I can't do my commissions." They would refund and cancel their. And to that, here's context for you guys. They have said that, but they have not said that to the person personally. There's so much more shit for this. There is so much shit for this entire topic. This, this topic goes so deep. It's insane. It is so insane. I really hope for Rosie to upload her coverage of this soon because goddamn, god fucking damn, more people actually realize what they're fucking doing is just... <laughs> That they're all just in the fucking wrong and they don't realize it, man. Right, the artist had posted on their Discord that they're canceling raffles and refunding commissions. They have not directly messaged Cat Dragons. They have never directly messaged Cat Dragons about it. Which, okay, it was just a free raffle. Okay, whichever. But in the screenshots that Cat Dragons has provided, I don't know if I can find it right now in here in the thread. Oh, here. Oh, hey, what is it that I was supposed to do? This was all already already after DMing. This was already after DMing. Hey, what is it that I was supposed to do? They don't even know who the person is. Oh, is it paid? Why wouldn't you tell her, man? I don't understand. What? Oh, the person herself? The artist? Yeah. Like... <laughs> it's so sad. It is so fucking sad how this entire thing... Here. No updates yet. I've said on my Discord I can't see raffle. I'm not on your Discord, which is fair. Why would you be on someone's Discord that you want to raffle off? I wouldn't be on their Discord. I even said on my Twitter, I don't stalk. I I am not required to stalk your Twitter. I'm not required to stalk your Twitter. Hey, if you want, I can still do the raffle press. I'm sorry that I treated you and others bad. This was, if I remember correctly, after Catranks already made another post regarding this. This is March now, by the way. This is March. The entire thing started and of January, start of February something. And yeah, if you can handle it mentally, go ahead. She has been so sweet this entire time. Ref did ignore this. Here, let's go back to Ref. Her active commissions, the ones that they're actually making money on. However, this VTuber who won the free art would come knocking at their door saying, hey, wait a second, I know you're going through stuff right now, but uh, where's my free art? Hey, where's my free art? Well, here's their thread so let's begin right here with the first set of messages it's basically asking uh hi are there any updates and they say nope not yet we'll get to you soon though this is back in february here's the next one saying uh well with a caption you're saying it's been deleted since but they posted some self-deprecating things on their twitter seeing any mutuals post such things has always worried me so i messaged them ah you're so worried <laughs> the fact about people and their their well-being Meanwhile, you're making a call-out thread. Yeah, they're making a call-out thread after five months. After five fucking months, they're making a call-out thread. After this entire situation. He's already slandering the person. He's already slandering cat dragons without even knowing the entire thread. At least from what I know right now, he's already slandering her without knowing the entire thing. Which is why, why cat dragons has been nothing but polite towards the artist. Nothing. Also, it's not even a call-out thread because Cat Dragons never put the artist's name in the thread anywhere. On someone who is going through- It's an awareness threat. It's a warning to others. A bout of mental health challenges to the point where in response to this thread, they deactivated, by the way. They, they definitely care about how people are doing online. But they- What? Wait, wait, let me scroll back because the middle of the sentence. Out of mental health challenges to the point where in response to this thread, they deactivated, by the way. They, they definitely care about how people are doing online. But they say this, hey, saw your account, are you okay? Yep, I'm fine, I'll be okay. 
Are you sure? I'm always happy to listen if you're going through it. Don't quit VTubing or being an artist. Your art is so amazing and great. Cat Dragons also said that this artist is someone she, uh, she looked up to. You know, of course she's gonna be nice to her. She liked her already because she looked up to this artist. Great. I just don't have that motivation anymore. Here's the next one uh, saying, I hope you're doing great. Have there been any, any up have there been any updates? Oh, geez. Uh, I know you're going through stuff right now, but any updates on my free art? It's been like two weeks. Yeah, it's been two weeks. So what? The artist herself? Also, it's not been two weeks. It's been longer than two weeks at this point. Firstly, because the artists themselves gave a time frame of one month to what? One to three months, I believe. Yeah, January 14. January 14. It's been an entire month. It's been over an entire month. Uh, oh, hey, what is it supposed to do? Uh, the they don't even model. know. They don't even and know, they as say, I said. Uh, here, communication is key with any type of art it clients, is. whether it it's paid is. or not. I do not stock pages for updates and don't you see shouldn't everything have you post. To. You, and you should not have to. The communication, me speaking again as an artist, should be between artist and client. Even though it is free art, they are still a client of yours. The art you are doing for them if you are doing commissions, even if it's free, still represents you. Your communication skills, even for free art, still represent you. So they say this, uh, do, you, do you not have our previous messages? I had yeah. won the art raffle for the VTour model in Rig, where you had mentioned that it would take one to three months for completion. It's fairly over a month, and I wanted to check mm -hmm. with you and such. That's fair. And That's completely fair to check in after a month after not having received any updates from the artists themselves. Please do this. If you do not receive updates from an artist who has promised to give you art within a certain time frame, even if it's an average one, two, three months, you are absolutely fine in asking artists after a month what the status is. It is completely fine. They say, ah, no updates yet. I've said, I've said it in my Discord, I cancel the... Uh, I'm not in your Discord, fair. I even said on my Twitter, you don't need to start the Twitter. Raffle you don't need to... Models no, and refund you're not required to do that. Commissions no. due to stress. Sorry. If it's due to stress, it's completely fine, right? Completely fine. But again, the key point here is communication. It is the mental health. Obviously, it's very important. But this isn't what this is about. And they say, I'm not in your Discord. And it's not and about then the free they say, I've even said it it's on, on over my the Twitter. the communication. Of course, this person just said, like, I'm checking Twitter. And I saw your self-deprecating messages on Twitter. So I, I went and found you. But they're not checking the messages that they're, they're sending on Twitter. You know... There's something on Twitter called a timeline. Ref, there's something on Twitter that they call a timeline. I think you know that. I th think you should know that there's something called a timeline. You don't need to go to someone's profile to see what the hell someone posts from time to time, you know? About their art and their mental health status. And here's another one saying, upset about this, I posted something on Twitter and others had similar- Ref being bad faith, what is this, a day ending and why? <laughs> I, I don't, I don't know what to say. Like this one really had me disappointed on Ref. This reporting really had me disappointed on him. Our experiences with this person, they messaged me apologizing. It's March fifth, and they say here saying if you can't so it's mentally been two months handle now. it, go ahead. I don't want you to dress or stress yourself out. I'm proud of you. Referring to Very basically sweet. saying they need to, uh, they're they're trying to do the art raffle, but. They are, uh, they're, they're Also, as I said, from what I remember from this entire discourse, the artist blocked Cat Dragons after Cat Dragons made that post, which was the post... Let me find it. Let me see if I can find it. I probably can't, because it's... It wasn't much. It, it wasn't much. I don't know if she posted it here. But, I'm telling you, once Rosie Belmu uploads her video, which hopefully she will one day, because the stream really turned to two or three hours to covering this entire topic. Rosie took two or three hours to cover this entire topic with screenshots, with receipts, from cat ranks, with everything. They're going through it. The post wasn't that the other post wasn't directed at them. It was nothing even comparably to the threat. It was a tiny post, and after that post, the artist had blocked cat dragons and then sometime later they also unblocked them again and messaged them again which was really weird where they say thanks uh of course i'll work on it
Yeah, puts the question on other videos he's uploaded. Definitely, definitely does. I'm definitely taking his videos with a salt of grain now. With a huge salt of grain. But I just need to go slowly. Grain of salt. And here we are, uh, about a month later, and they're making this call out thread. Yeah, it, it seems ridiculous. And here's how they close the thread, by the way, saying, if you stumble upon their account, please don't send any hate to the artist. I understand mental health is a struggle. I'm not mad, upset, or even disappointed. Just wish there was better communication. Why are you mocking it? It's yeah, a good, I'm sorry it's your a fair free statement. art didn't really work out. I mean, I know. It, it's kind of disappointing that you it's, want a raffle to get free. It's a fair statement. It's a really fair statement to make. Why are you talking in a mocking voice regarding this? This isn't about the free art. It's about the communication. You fucking missed the point here. You dropped the ball. Free art, but like... When someone's mental health is involved, I think that's more important. Okay. The mental health was a topic for about a month, not for five months. Okay, and instead of handling this in private or maybe even doing like a vague quote retweet or something, you took this public. You made an entire they call didn't, out thread. Over they didn't put the name of the artist into the thread. They did not put the name of the artist into the thread. This was known to the artist, and the artist just made their name public afterwards. This artist. When I see a call-out thread on an artist, I'm expecting something like, oh, I don't know. They were not they unexpecting scam people, it. Or they're an abuser, a terrible person. Not someone who's behind on their work, including free work, because... They're behind on their work because they took on too much work. They took on raffles to grow their own account with raffle engagement baiting on undelivered multiple raffles with undelivered art and also commissions that were never delivered so their mental health this whole thing is ridiculous but yes Raph, on, you're ridiculous right now saying this wait so you're upset that a struggling artist is taking too long on free art like art you didn't pay for this threat is kind of unfair and dramatic if i'm reading this right to be honest I say that You're as not. both an artist and someone who's in, entered in art raffles, where they reply with this giant wall of text, saying, which is a good you know response. What? I don't care. <laughs> like I'm this is a good response. I'm upset about the lack of communication. It's a val It's valid to prioritize commissions. It's valid to take time off your mental health. It's valid to take your time with art. True. I'm not upset that I didn't get any f art. That's not the point of this. It's free. It's not valid to string someone on for months and on off for months off and on paid or not true create new raffles when you can't handle the ones you already have not inform your person that you are quitting art and have no desire to complete their projects unless they ask that is true it is not okay to handle anyone like that it's okay to take breaks it is it's okay to not follow through on free art if you can't complete it it is. It's a big. It's a big. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what. It's a big one. It's a big. Okay, there literally isn't anything. It's a big. Why didn't you tell me you aren't going to continue this? You didn't ask? Okay, I said it in my Discord, etc. I really mean no harm and wish them the best on everything. I messaged them at most two to three times a month. This was dragged over a period of six months. Just tell me no. Don't keep pro uh, promising updates. Exactly this! The artist kept saying, I will deliver the art. I will do it. I will do it. While Kat has had given them multiple outs. This is a threat about communication and about engagement baiting. The artist was not mentioned by Cat Dragons. <laughs> like, I'm gonna be honest, guys. Like, you can pause and read for yourself. It's a whole lot of word salad to basically say, yes, I was supposed to get free art and I was upset because this person was going through a bout of mental health issues and stress that uh, I still made this call out thread. I don't care. That's pretty much the response here. TLDR on the situation. And overall today, you've seen proof that a lot of indie VTubers really just can't help themselves when it comes to drama. They make these terrible call out threads that I would imagine are largely for clout. Like, again, as I say, to this I say this is a huge L from Ref. That's not what she said, and Ref seems to be very unprofessional with his tag, if not biased and purposely creating a narrative. Yeah, exactly. This is creating a false narrative. Oh, by the way, by the way, regarding the artist, I've I've checked their account out um yesterday, I believe. 
uh, because it was uh, one of the comments was recommended. One of her comments on a post was recommended to me. The artist keeps talking about this situation. Cat moved on. Cat has moved on from this situation. People are still sending hate towards Cat. I I ask Cat and Cat on DMs if people are still sending hate towards her. They are. They are. There's thankfully a few really nice people too that are also sending. Like love and support, but mostly people are just sending hey towards Cat in DMs. And this video, after watching this video, this had me so angry. This video had me so fucking angry. Oh my god. Probably the artist wants to keep using this to promote themselves. Yeah, it feels definitely like this. It definitely feels like this. They made comments about, oh, I wish people didn't pester me every two to three days about updates or something like, I am so happy I don't have anyone pestering me two to three days, uh, every two to three days right now. The artist in question didn't even deliver on commissions. Didn't even deliver commissions. They, e the artist, there even is something that the artist bought a commission off of someone else. Oh. Which they didn't even have the money for. And now they need money to refund the commission. Which is just like, the artist is so fucking sketchy. The artist regarding this is so freaking sketchy. And Ref just being completely, like, creating a false narrative around this entire thing. Makes me really think twice about, about his videos now. Like, about takes he puts on. Like, I'm definitely watching the topics he's talking about more closely now when he's covering something. I'm definitely. Because for something he says that he's reporting on news, I cover a wide range of topics including anime, VTuber news, drama, but sad social media takes memes and much more. Uh, mostly satire, I don't take things too serious. This? Let me tell you, this he put in there to save his own ass. This take is there, oh, it's, uh, uh, the video wasn't serious. Like, if he sends hate to, out to someone, or uh, strikes a false narrative, he will just uh, say, I mostly post satire. I put it on my YouTube, I mostly post satire. Don't take it too serious, man. No, no, you can't do that. No kidding, this really is unfortunate. Yeah, it is. Keeping true to your obligations, promise, and giveaways. Reference and lottery is highly important. Not for honoring it can get so in someone in serious trouble. Yeah. I have noticed a lot that he only goes very surface level. I don't watch his channel because he isn't a good source. Yeah. Yeah. Some things are really surface level. Some things are surface level. That's especially what I've been noticing more and more too. Man, I feel disappointed to quiet the attack. Thanks for bringing this up, Keats. I probably wouldn't have known about this and had you not brought it up. Yeah, of course you wouldn't have known it because he didn't say anything about it. And the way he talked about it is creating a false narrative. By general, no, refs and ref took an L, huh? Yeah. Ref did take an L. L for ref and L for me. Can't fully trust his takes anymore. Yeah, it is so sad. After this entire situation, and after seeing the video made, like, if there's still going to be, like, a, some huge name videos, like, if he makes a video about Nichi Sanji stuff, I'll still watch it. And I watched a Nichi Sanji video from his earlier, because I don't know where else to get it, really. I don't know where else to get the, uh, the information. If you have recommendations, go on. But I'll definitely take his, um, takes with a way more open mind now.